Welcome to Pinch a Penny with Jenny. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pinch a Penny with Jenny. And today I'm going to talk about a mini washing machine. And I'm actually going to go through step by step and how I use it to wash my clothes to save money. So I live in New York City and, you know, doing laundry here is pretty expensive. You can pay anywhere from like a dollar to two dollars, sometimes three, sometimes four dollars for a load, depending on how large your load is. And I just, I was just sick and tired of it, you know. Uh, I had to pay to dry it as well. And at the end of the day, just to do laundry, it cost me anywhere from, I mean, minimum like ten dollars to twenty dollars just to do laundry and it was ridiculous um so got the mini washing machine it works it's been saving me lots of money uh yes it looks like a toy and yes you can't do like you know your comforter uh for example you can't wash that but you can wash your bed sheets and uh my duvet cover so i just you know wash my duvet cover and not wash the entire comforter no big deal and when i do need to wash those big items then i'll just take it to the laundromat you know once every year or six months or whatever um but anyway i'm gonna go through step by step on how to use this machine and i'm gonna leave a link in the video description down below just in case you want to buy it and test it out too so far i have made back all the money that i spent on this washing machine and it's totally been worth it and i just use one of these little drying racks that i have behind me and i don't have to pay for a dryer so i save money and electricity there as well um and especially if you know if you live in a small apartment this is this is great uh yes there's a lot of manual labor that kind of goes into it but it still takes less time than going to a laundromat and i really enjoy it i see it as a nice little toy but anyway uh let's jump right into the tutorial and uh, but before we do that make sure you hit that subscribe button and also that like button it really helps up that the, yeah, helps out the youtube algorithm and i would love to share with the world how i pinch a penny so yeah let's jump in Okay, so first you're gonna put about five and a half pounds worth of clothing on the washer side. That's how much it holds. So it doesn't hold a lot, but it does hold quite a bit, enough for me. Then you're gonna plug it in and then take the hose and dump it into the bathtub. So I also have this little metal thing right here. Um, it keeps the hose from kind of leaving the bathtub and going onto my bathroom floor, which has happened before, so just be careful about that. Then I'm gonna take my shower head and dump it in there, fill that up. And I am using borax to wash my clothes and I have it in a gelato, you know, jar because I'm cheap. <laughs> um, but you can also use vinegar or regular laundry detergent as well. Dump that in there. And I fill it up all the way until that little black mark right there. I actually marked it with a Sharpie so that um, I won't, you know, overfill it. And then I turn off the water. Take that shower head out and I actually put the shower head in the spinner compartment um, while that thing is running so that I don't have to go back and forth between the bathtub and the washer. Close the lid and you want to make sure it's set to uh, not drain but like standard or soft. I have it on standard and then I put it on for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 9 minutes, something like that. Somewhere in between 6 and 9 and here it goes, here is running. And then once that's all done, you are going to turn the knob to drain. And that's going to drain all the water on the washer side out. So that might take a little bit of time, so you just have to wait. And then after that's done, you turn the knob back to standard and then take the shower head and put it in the washer side. Fill that up again. And once it's full, you're gonna take the shower head and put it back into the spinner. Close the lid and repeat. So again, around nine minutes, but you can do a little bit more. I feel like if you do it up to 15 minutes, it overheats. But anyway, you, um, you're gonna take the shower head now, put it into the bathtub. 
And then you have this little plastic thingy. I don't really know what it's called, but I put it aside and I save that for later. Take the wet clothes and put it into the spinner. And once that's full, you put the little plastic thing right on top. Close the lid, and I usually set the timer to about one minute, um, no more than two. You don't really need it. And if your machine is balanced, um, it should spin pretty well, and the water is, you can see that draining in the bathtub. And also if you lift the lid, um, it's going to stop, so that's pretty good. Nice safety precaution there. And then while that is spinning on the washer side, um, there's a little compartment for lint, so I just pull that up and it collects quite a bit of lint. It's kind of nasty. Sorry I'm showing you this. Okay, so it's just about done and you can see it's like vibrating and shaking quite a bit. Um, sometimes if the spinner is not really balanced, it'll, it'll like really shake, but it's pretty balanced right here. So once it's done spinning, you just open the lid, you take that plastic thing I talked about earlier out, and you have your clothes all washed. Now to clean up, I put that plastic thing into this spinner, and I actually leave the cover open so it can ventilate. I change the knob back to standard for next time. And then I take the hose and I hook it right on that little thing there. <laughs> Unplug. And then in the back of the machine, there are two prongs that you can, um, you know, go around and have some wire management there. Take the adapter, slip it over there. And that is it. That is my how I do laundry. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the tutorial on how to use this um, mini washing machine. Again, I'm linking it in the video description. In fact, I'll be linking maybe two models. Uh, so you have a variety, something you can pick from. And, you know, I really recommend trying it out. Like I said earlier, there's a little bit of a manual labor thing going on, a little bit of a learning curve, and you can't really wash a lot of clothes at once. Uh, but, you know, it's just so... For me, living in an apartment in New York City with uh, no laundromat and in a walk-up apartment, it's just so convenient. And I love it so much and uh, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just really, really love this machine. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching Pinch a Penny with Jenny. Go ahead and pinch some pennies. Let me know how you save laundry, save money on doing laundry. And I will, you know, see you guys in my next video. Check out my other videos too for some frugal tips. Bye.